Welcome to a day in the life of Alan. It's a Sunday and believe it or not, after living in Kuala Lumpur for so long, I've never been to the town of Klang, which is about one hour train ride outside of Kuala Lumpur. So today I've taken a train and we're going to have a look at what's in the old part of Klang and that's about a two kilometer radius from the railway station. But first, let's find food. Join me in the day in the life of Alan in Klang. I was going to come here for this famous um, banana leaf restaurant which is over there but it was a huge crowd and long queue and I'm too hungry to wait so I had uh, Indian food over here it's pretty good good so let's see what's in town This is Gedung Raja Abdullah, built in 1857 and it was first used to store weapons, tin and food. The British then converted this warehouse into government offices. In 1880, it was turned into a police station and it remained so all the way till 1974. The building is currently closed for restoration work and hopefully will be open soon. Right next door is the Victorian style Klang Fire Station. It was built sometime in the 1890s and continues to do the same job ever since then, right up until today. Right here in the heart of Klang Town, I think is an excellent symbol of Malaysia's religious harmony. Now, right behind me, is a Buddhist shrine with chanting uh, being played and then uh, right behind this building here is a Methodist church and over there you can see a Hindu temple and across the street a mosque This colourful old building, which is now selling saris, used to be the old chartered bank building for Klang, built in 1874 in neoclassical style. Gallery di Raja Sultan Abdul Aziz or the Royal Gallery is dedicated to Sultan Saluddin Abdul Aziz Shah, who ruled for over 39 years as the Sultan of Selangor and also for two years as the King or the Yang Di Pertuan Agong of Malaysia. This classic colonial building was built in 1909 and was the land and administration office of the British colonial government. 
The Japanese during World War II used it as its war headquarters and later several local authorities used it until its recent restoration into the Royal Gallery. Uh, inside there is the Royal Collection consisting of a range of personal artifacts and gifts covering the period of His Majesty's reign and it includes replicas of the Slango Royal Jewels. Uh, it's also the start of the Royal Klang Heritage Tour which is held every Saturday and Sunday morning. Details are in the description below. Hope you enjoyed joining me on my short walk around the town of Klang. Um, it's really nice, very quaint, it's very Indian. Um, so do spend the time if you have, just take the train, walk around the town. It's just around the railway station. Uh, you, know, you know what's a good part? The, it hasn't been gentrified yet, so no hipster cafes have appeared yet. But uh, right now, just enjoy good food, uh, nice people and some very interesting shopping. So thanks for watching A Day in the Life of Alan John Me once again in the next edition. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Mm -hmm.